Supernova Style Science News with Jelly Seven Sage. Happy Pi Day! Today is Pi Day because it is 314, and the first three digits of Pi are the same as today's date. Pi is, let's see if I can do this. 3.14159265358979323846262. And it keeps going on forever. It never repeats. We call this an irrational number. So because of this, scientists just use the Greek letter which represents P and use 3.14 when they need to use the number. It represents the ratio of a circle's circumference to the diameter. The amazing thing is that no matter the size of the circle, it could even be the size of our galaxy, the ratio will still be pi. Since today is Pi Day, NASA's JPL has made Take the Pi in the Sky Challenge to celebrate it. A lot of space sciences have to use pi in their calculations, so JPL has put together a bunch of activities that show how real-life scientists use pi. An example is in the first one, you're trying to figure out which crater on Mars was created at a shallower angle. Another one was figuring out the area of the shadow of the moon during a solar eclipse, like the one that will be happening this year in August. They even have one dealing with TRAPPIST-1. I've already done a few, and they're really fun and challenging. They also have a webpage where you can post what you're doing for Pi Day. The link will be on top below. I also linked the challenge in the description so you guys could check it out and see if you can take the pie in the sky challenge and show your supernova style.